Welcome to USMLE Memorizations. Today we're going to talk about endocarditis. What are some of the causes of acute infective endocarditis? Some of the causes of acute infective endocarditis are staph aureus and streptococcus. What are some of the causes of subacute infective endocarditis? Some of the causes of subacute infective endocarditis includes strep virulence and gram negative bacilli. In acute infective endocarditis, do the normal valves or the abnormal valves get affected? In acute infective endocarditis, it's the normal valve that gets affected. In subacute infective endocarditis, are the valves normal or abnormal that are affected by this? The valves that are affected in subacute infective endocarditis are previously abnormal valves. What are some of the characteristic lesions seen in acute infective endocarditis? Some of the characteristic lesions seen in acute infective endocarditis includes Janeway lesions. What is Janeway lesion? Janeway lesions are non-tender macular patches on palms and sole. What are some of the characteristic lesions seen in subacute infective endocarditis? Some of the characteristic lesions seen in subacute infective endocarditis includes rot spots and Osler nodes. What are rot spots? Rot spots are oval retinal hemorrhage with pale centers. What are Osler nodes? Osler nodes are red tender lesions on finger and toe pulps. For more information on this topic and for a full USMLE Step 1 review, click on the link in the description section below. So this was a quick video in question and answer format. These short videos are to help you recall and memorize high yield facts that are commonly seen on the USMLE. We recommend that you pause this video after every question and try to answer it on your own to see how well you can remember important information. If this video helped you, please be sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. As well as you can check out our main YouTube channel, which is called USMLE Fast Track. And there you will find videos from the first date for the USMLE, Step 1. Thank you for watching.